Jewish. And I'm not. And this is Hanukkah. This year, Chloe watched a bunch of Christmas movies and has a very Christmassy video about that that is probably here. Uh, but I said, you know what? This is my year. We're doing a Hanukkah special, babies. I'm going to track down all the Hanukkah specials and really get into it, give them ratings out of like eight candles, make it real fun. But um, can you name any Hanukkah specials? The Even Stevens one, the Rugrats one. Okay, the Rugrats one is really good. It's mm -hmm. the prototype, but like even that takes an outside angle to explain the concept of the holiday to the audience. Like it's not meant for Jewish children to watch. It's mm -hmm. how other it's how other children learn about Hanukkah. Like there are a few more kids specials that also do that, but like Christmas movies get to be about festivity and family and Christmas magic and Hanukkah media gets to like centralize the viewpoint of people who don't know what it's about or how it's celebrated. So with the disclaimer that this is not a major religious holiday and we nixed some of the more terrible ideas and this is all meant in the spirit of good fun, holiday cheer, and entertainment. General disclaimer. Um, Noah is from the Jewish side of the family, but I am not. Um, so I am here as a comedy accessory. Yeah, like the lady with the husband. Yeah, like that lady on TikTok with the husband picture here. Yeah. Um, I am a comedy accessory. We have come up with some Hanukkah specials. To be clear, this is not necessarily the Hanukkah media that I want, but it is the Hanukkah media that these intellectual properties would give us. Before we get into that, I would like to give you your Hanukkah present of the day. Okay. Yesterday, it was this guy. Yeah. And he's a dragon who is a heating pack for my terrible body. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to, um, this was my first attempt it's to lovely. do um, the easy pull thing. I think it came, it didn't come out good, but I, you can try and see. Also, yeah. yeah, Hanukkah. <laughs> Is that what was supposed to happen? Yeah, I okay. guess. Aww. A child's t-shirt. Yeah. Um, which I exclusively wear. I love this because... Because oh, you have your... Yeah, my dinosaur. Yeah, you have a dinosaur menorah. I love that. Thank you. Mm. That's so Happy good. Hanukkah. Yeah, I, it's the second or third day as we're filming this. Third, I think. Okay. I never know what day it is. The first media that we have chosen is one with Jewish characters, Let's, which not all of these are. New Girl. So the concept on this one is Schmidt pulls out a notebook where he has logged every hour he has had to spend celebrating Christmas with these people and it's finally hit 192 hours, eight straight days, so he's locking the fucking doors and no one escapes Schmonica. <laughs> I forgot who called it Schmonica. Yeah. The main conflict uh, is that he did not give them any warning, and also he has boarded up the windows. <laughs> they fully would have celebrated with him if he had asked at any point in like the past 15 years. Instead, he decided to change all the locks on the doors. <laughs> yeah, he has tricked the rabbi into being there. Cece has one change of clothes. They eventually get to leave on like day five because he has so completely boarded up the house that the smoke alarms keep going off <laughs> when they light the Hanukkah. Yeah. yeah. Uh, after they all get to escape, Jess feels bad and tries to make everyone go back and have dinner with him. Other conflicts appear in the forms of Winston is allergic to Chinese food. Canonically. <laughs> Nick makes it two days with no issue and then loses his mind the moment they run out of jelly donuts. Jess is trying to facilitate group Hanukkah crafts. The rabbi is distressed. Winston gets a little too into it. 
Many portions of Hanukkah are kind of a sing-along, but Jess does not know any of the words <laughs> for the sing-along. That is not going to stop her from participating in the sing-along. It is not. Um, it ends with them deciding to incorporate a dreidel into True American. So I think that could be fun. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty solid Hanukkah pitch. Yeah. It's going to get worse. <laughs> What's our second one? It's Riverdale. Yeah, Chloe's initial pitch for this one was <laughs> Jughead goes to light the menorah and the devil comes out of the flames. But we did reject that on the basis of a fair amount of our audience might be normal people who do not watch Riverdale and thus do not know that the devil is a real character in Riverdale who shows up to torture Jughead. <laughs> and without that context, the optics are not great. The optics the are optics not are great. Bad. The optics are bad on man celebrates Hanukkah, the devil appears. <laughs> but like within Riverdale, that yeah, is within, Riverdale. within the town, within the show. So um, some other equally terrible but very Riverdale accurate concepts. <laughs> Your other one was um, Archie finds out that his dad converted to Judaism from beyond the grave <laughs> um, and now his ghost dad is here and wants to celebrate Hanukkah with them um, so Archie has to rush to convert also. <laughs> Cheryl leads a charge of her lesbian teen archers on the rest of the town to remind everyone the meaning of Hanukkah and the Maccabees because she feels like everyone has forgotten how marginalized she is for being a lesbian. She is not Jewish. She just felt this would be seasonally appropriate. <laughs> I think the one that we took off the list entirely was Tony and Fangs are raising their baby in a Jewish household and this is just the last straw for Kevin. <laughs> And he calls CPS on them who show up and are like, yeah, why were we called for this? <laughs> Number three is Fifty Shades of Grey. I promise there's a reason I've been talking about it in, I think, the past four videos. Yep. New video coming whenever you finish that script. Yeah. So Fifty Shades of Grey. The lube should have only lasted one night, but instead it lasted eight. A Hanukkah miracle. Wow, that was amazing sexual intercourse. Thank you for doing those things to my body. Yes. You know, the lube was only supposed to last one night, but it lasted eight. A Hanukkah miracle. Wait, isn't your name Christian? Well, you see, my mother, the crack whore. Okay, number four. Number five is Teen Wolf, and that was your concept. Yeah. Give me a brief overview of Teen Wolf Hanukkah. Um, Derek is sad that his family is dead, and also he has a lot of trauma related to fire, um, so he feels real weird about um, lighting his Hanukkah. Um, and um, so the other teen, well, not the other teens, because he's not a teen. It was um, so important that he's not a teen. The teens who he hate mm -hmm. are all trying to help him get over this difficulty with the holiday season. Um, and some of it is just Scott being very stupid and going over to the loft and being like, Derek, today we're all Jewish. No. Now let's light no. this Hanukkah together. No. <laughs> um, and then Derek like breaks his arm <laughs> and makes him go home. They're werewolves. It's fine. <laughs> is there like a monster that they fight, or the monster is trauma and Christmas? <laughs> and Christmas. <laughs> The monster is Scott's stupidity. Number six. All emergency shows. We are currently obsessed with the first responder television program 911. Yeah. But the specific emergency show we're into can change, so our concepts for these are very universal and easy to tailor depending on the show. For example, Dreidel gets lodged in someone's throat from the outside. Family keeps lighting candles every night, and every night something else catches fire. Chinese restaurant explodes. All very real concerns mm -hmm. when you are doing Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. Seven. 
Modern Seinfeld. We were gonna just let you guys write this one in the comments, but then we started thinking about it. And I had a lot of really good ideas. You had a lot of really good ideas. So Jerry is dating this girl and he timed it wrong, so she's around for the holidays, and here are the problems with her. So did you finally break up with what's her name? No, I was going to, and then it was Hanukkah. Well, you gotta break up with her before Hanukkah. I forgot what day's Hanukkah was. It's an amateur move, Jerry. It's different every year. She won't even let me light the candles. So why won't you let me light the candles? Because they're beeswax and she's vegan. I thought vegans loved beeswax. Wouldn't they? Wouldn't they love beeswax? The bees love it. Yeah, the bees love the beeswax. I don't know. Not that I would want to light the candles in whatever thing she brought over. You. So there's eight candles, right? Yeah, there's eight. How many colors in the rainbow? There's six. Yeah. How are you gonna put six colors on eight candles? So it's a rainbow. She's got a rainbow pride flag of six colors on eight candles. Well, how would you divide that? You don't. Sounds awful. No, it's awful. And you'll never guess what she calls it. Tell me. Okay, we can't call it the Manora. We can't call it that. It's the they Nora. I thought she was cis. She's cis. She's not even trans? She's not even trans. She's not even trans. And it's not even called a menorah. It's not even called a menorah. <laughs> Did she at least get you something nice for Hanukkah? She got me a series of microaggressions. <laughs> or the microaggressions? Well, she got me a new packer. <laughs> Can always use a new packer. That's just slightly bigger than my old one. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What am I supposed to get from that? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta break up with this one. I, got, I waited too long. <laughs> now you gotta wait till Hanukkah's over. There's still three more days. <laughs> you can't do three more days. I can't do three more days of this. Dad, what do you think, Elaine? <laughs> George's thing is he saw a beautiful woman on the street and he followed her a little bit and accidentally followed her into a church. <laughs> And he started trying to chat her up, um, and she said, oh, are you here for the auditions? And he said, yes, and panicked, um, and she led him over to the auditions for a children's nativity play. <laughs> um, and now it, it's too far in, and he doesn't know how to get out of it, and he's stuck doing this, and also he knows that they are going to be live streaming this that's production. what makes it modern. Yeah, that's what makes it modern, is that there's gonna be a live stream of the play um, online, and he is horrified that Anyone. anybody is gonna find out about this and see it, and then his parents are gonna see it, and he's gonna get a phone call. Also, Jerry's trans. I don't know if we made that clear at the beginning. <laughs> I just figured it was implied. Yeah. It's modern Seinfeld, baby. Everyone's trans. Yeah. We do have one earnest one. This video started out as a list of very earnest ideas for mostly children's Hanukkah specials. And then we realized it's mostly just like the same thing over and over, which is, it's Hanukkah and it's nice and it's not anti-Semitic and it's <laughs> nice and everyone's happy and there's candles. And we're like, okay. I can't do a lot with that eight different times though. And then we started suggesting insane ones and then they were all insane, so we decided to focus on those ones. Mm -hmm. um, Real quick, a couple that didn't make the list. Property Brothers Hanukkah special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we make them do a Hanukkah special. I just think it would be really funny if we made them do a Hanukkah special. Yeah. Um, Dimension 20. You spin a dreidel instead of rolling the dice. I don't know what you want from me on that one. What else did we say? But a final, very earnest pitch for a Hanukkah special is... Our I know it's for babies, but we need it. Summer Camp I Island. I love Summer Camp Island. It's Hanukkah at Summer Camp. I don't care. Oscars. They, had, they, they, they do holidays. They it's do fine. holidays. They all just kind of live there they're, now. They're cookie smell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oscar is so excited for all the little celebrations, but then 
he and Hedgehog realize just how many latkes they're going to need if they're going to feed all the monsters they have invited. The monsters are so nice and polite, but their tummies are so big and they just don't have enough potatoes. And they decide the solution is for Hedgehog to grow some very big potatoes so they can make many, many latkes. Hedgehog and, is a witch. And the number of times that I typed Hedgefrog frankly <laughs> made writing this nearly insurmountable. Mm -hmm. Um, but she makes the potatoes too big, and they just keep on growing, and they have to go to Ramona to get help, because anytime they go near Susie, she just throws apples at them. <laughs> um, and then at the end, Susie comes to help, and she's like, You stupid babies, of course I know they were going to eat all the latkes. That's why we have a special spell for big potatoes and not giant potatoes. Stupid babies. This is why I'm always the prettiest girl every night of Hanukkah. Because I plan in advance. Why do you think I've been throwing apples at you all day? To soften them for the applesauce for the latkes. Stupid babies. <laughs> and she makes some good medium big potatoes and they make a lot of latkes. And it's nice. Yeah, and it's nice. It's nice, and it's Hanukkah. And it's Summer Camp Island. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Hanukkah bedtime for Hanukkah babies. They like Hanukkah gravy on their latkes. Sweet applesauce is very neat. Hanukkah nights with Hanukkah lights on the menorah so bright. <laughs> oh no, I lost one. Okay, <laughs> all of our information should be in the, uh, yeah, link in bio. Um, you can contact us if you want to. For all of our patrons, our holiday card should be coming out soon if you have put your address in. We know they're late. What do you want from me? <laughs> um, and anyone who is not a patron, currently you can subscribe to any of the tiers, get like all the rewards for one dollar, and that will include a holiday card if you do that by, I don't know, like first week of January? Sure. Yeah. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Okay. Love you. Love you. Hanukkah bedtime, um. Hanukkah babies. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs>train the other day I fell asleep and when I woke up I th I swear to god that I thought the guy facing the other way next to me was Quentin Reviews <laughs> so I was like googling to try to get what his hair looked like most recently it was not Quentin Reviews okay. would that it were would that it were okay so 50 shades of gray Quentin hit me up I need to know what your deal is <laughs>